Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. This week I'm going to give you a quick essentials lesson about hammer-ons and pull-offs on the acoustic guitar. I've had a few emails uh, relating to this lately, so I thought I'd do a very short video and hopefully uh, give you some tips and help you out, okay? So, um, essentially what a hammer-on is, is where you pluck a, a string and then hammer down the finger to play another note. Sometimes you hear them in conjunction with pull-offs. This kind of thing, right? Okay, sometimes uh, we might have a, a hammer-on as part of two-finger tapping. Okay, something like that. So, on the electric guitar, they can sound a bit easier because the neck is a bit lower if you've got a nicer electric guitar. You're using an amplifier and it amplifies all those notes so they sustain longer. So you get to hear them better, but it's a bit more difficult on the acoustic, okay? And it takes a little bit more strength in the fingers. So I thought I'd show you a little, a little kind of old school lick, and I can't even remember where I learned it, but I thought I'd share it with you because it helped me out a lot in the beginning with kind of certainly pull-offs. Okay, for this section. So a pull-off is when you play a note on a string and then pull off to reveal the note underneath it. So what I'm actually doing, I'm plucking that note, I'm just playing the top E on the the first string on the second fret. So I'm plucking that note, okay, which is F sharp. And as I take my finger away, I'm kind of pulling the string down, almost plucking it with my finger, okay? So you end up plucking once and two notes, okay? If I was to do the opposite of that, it'd be a hammer on. So hammer on, you have to hammer the note down and then pull off. So hammer on, pull off. Okay, so I'll show you this little one to start off with up here and I'm just playing on the top E. I've got my first finger on the fifth fret, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna hammer down with our third finger to the seventh fret. So pluck that fifth on the top E and then hammer down the third finger. Now what you might get is this. So what's going on there? Well what's happening is, number one, you're not hammering down with the tip of your finger. You might be just using the edge of your finger. And it's just dampening the string, okay? So what you wanna do is knock it down with the tip of your finger. Now it takes a while to kind of pick up strength for this. And then once it's down, pluck again and pull it away to reveal this uh, note on the fifth fret. Okay, and what I'm doing, I'm just pulling down to the ground a little bit. Let me, let me come closer so you can See what I'm doing a bit better. So hammer on, pluck in, and then pull off. So in this case, the pull off is a lot easier. Now if I do one pluck, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hammer on and pull off at the same time. So that's a really good thing to practice. Okay, so after a while, you know, you build up strength in it. So what I'm doing there, I'm just going five, hammer on to seven, pull off to five, and I'm removing, I'm pulling off the first finger from the fifth to open.
Okay, so you can kind of play little tricks like that. So going back to this 5-7, try it on different notes, on different strings rather. Some people find it easier to do it on the low strings. Some people find it easier on the high strings. It's very much down to the size of your hands and stuff, okay? This does take a bit of practice and a bit of strength build up. Okay, so going back to the intro, to the little lick I was doing. That's really good practice for pull-offs. I can't actually remember where I learned that, but it's kind of... It's a very old-fashioned kind of, perhaps, uh, bluegrass type of thing. I just remember liking the sound of it and thought, oh, I really need to learn that. I don't think I've ever used it live, but it sounds cool anyway. So all I'm doing is I've got my fingers lined up. Now I'm I'm using my third and second. Yeah, I'd probably suggest you use your first and second here. Okay, I, I use it for different reasons because then I go into a chord afterwards, but try it both ways. But for now, first and second finger. So what I'm doing, I've got my first finger in the second fret on the top E string and my second finger in the third fret on the top E. Now I'm plucking, pulling that third, uh, second finger off to the first finger. And then I'm pulling my first finger off to the open. So pluck, three, pull off to two, pull off to O. Okay, so that's the first bit. It just repeats on the second string, the B string. As you go over the strings, you'll find it more difficult, okay? Then to the G string. So let's go back to the beginning. Then what we're gonna do is add the B string again. So we go, E string, B string, G string, back to the B string, G string. Then I'll just finish with that G. So second string, sorry, first string, second string, third string, second string, third string, fourth string, open G. You can finish off with a G there, it sounds kind of cool. So that will definitely help you with your pull-offs. Okay. And this one, that'll help you with your hammer-ons. Now try it with different fingers as well. So there you have it guys. I hope that helps you out a bit. Uh, don't forget I do these lessons every week. So if you want to receive the updates, please subscribe. And uh, any comments you have, put in the comments box below. And I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Enjoy.